Good morning, y'all. So, the time has come. Last night, I, uh, by some miracle of fucking social media, uh, my subscription uh, numbers went up from 29, which I've been holding that for a couple weeks now, I think, to 32, which is phenomenal. So I'm very grateful. I've made video, a couple vlogs, uh, talking, whatever, that's talking shit. But, uh, yeah, I'm very grateful for all your support. I fucking, um, I can't thank you all enough, you know. But anyhow, I promised uh, in in uh, when I hit thirty subscribers, I was gonna teach you how to how to cook something. If you don't have a kettle, a microwave, an oven, or anything really, this is this is just an old uh, prison trick that has been handed down through generations, I guess. Uh, making a it's called a, you make a thing called a stinger or. I've also heard it called a bug. Um, but basically, it's like you just take a fucking old electrical appliance, maybe that you're not using, like I I took an old broken lamp I'm not using, and uh, you just cut the fucking cord off. I'll show it to you when it's done. I'm, it's it's it, 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 To cook with it takes quite a while, so I've been, I've been using it to heat, heat up uh, for about... Uh, 20 minutes now, I think. But uh, Yeah, you basically take this electrical cord, you you strip the wire bits, you got two bits of wire or whatever. You take a couple uh, pieces of metal. I use uh, old razor blades because that's what I had. Um, and they work really well. You just I just dull them by rubbing them on, uh, like, the, you know, yeah, the brick in the house for for a bit. Uh, I just got a message here. Can't leave it. Uh, bong, bong, bong. Come on, get out. All right, whatever. It's my, it's my good friend Kurt from uh, my record label, Markwood Recordings. Um, very pleased. I, I know what I know what the message is about. I'm very pleased uh, about the artist that's going to be doing the live uh, Hurricane Charlie uh, Markwood recording. But anyhow, back to what we're doing here. Um, so yeah, I made a stinger. You uh, you basically just take a, a cord, you cut it, you strip the wire. Uh, you just the thing is, you just can't let the wires touch. That's the, that's the danger zone, right? Uh, you you. I used a bit of an old, uh, not a used, but a, a, just the wood. I used these things in cigar box guitars. Um, cut a piece off of wood off a mouse trap. Uh, stuck it between the razor blades. Did it up with thread so it's tight. I'll show it to you when it's done cooking. And you just stick it in a pot of water or a bag of water. I used a little, just a little jar. I was going to use a bag to keep it keep it real fucking meth in a town, but uh, we're making something pretty fucking ghetto anyway. I've made it before. I'm making a, a little like a burrito kind of deal. But anyhow, I said I'd show you how to do make some other uh, do-it-yourself cooking tools if you don't have cooking tools. Uh, another another prison thing that I've learned through the ages is uh, how to make a cutting board, okay? So you don't have a fucking cutting board in, in your jail cell, uh, and the floor is probably filthy. You know what I mean? Like it's not it's not a very hygienic situation, right? So what you want to do is uh, acquire a magazine or a you know a piece of mail or something like that. I used a piece of uh, junk mail because that's what I had, and it suits my purposes fine. And you wrap it, and you get you get your hook up from the kitchen and get you some saran wrap. And you wrap it up so it's all fucking like this. Keep it clean, know what I mean? So we got a little cutting board now, you know, and as long as you're careful with it, you can reuse this, you know, you can wash it off. Uh, it's, a, it's, a it's an item that's taken for granted in kitchens, you know, that's very essential. 
Um, now you're not going to get this uh, when you're in prison because you know they're not going to get. They don't serve you uh, when you buy commissary items. I don't believe you get cans. Uh, I believe everything's given to you in a bag to not give you bits of metal to make knives and shit out of, right? Which is exactly what I did uh, with this. Uh, I had, you know, I'm making this burrito, so I add a little bit of uh, dollar store chili, chili beans, and uh, save the lid and wash it off. You kind of crimp up one end, and there's a little knife for you. That's a knife. And that works. We're going to show you how it works by making these two pickles from the dollar store into delightful sliced pickles. I'll, show, I'll just do it and I'll show you. This works just as good as a paring knife. Uh, you know, if I had an apple or something, I'd, I'd peel it for you and show you. But, you know, these, these can lids, you know, they're razor sharp. And, uh, you know, you can, you know, on those pop-top cans you get sometimes, you can do that with this. Uh, if you have, like, a spam can, you know, that's a really good... You can, you can take a couple spam cans, turn one into an oven and one into uh, a cooking device, you know. I wish I'd, I wish I'd done that. I'd, I gotta use what I got. So, this is what I got. So I'm gonna add the pickles to my burrito mixture here. This burrito mixture here, I didn't, I didn't waste uh, time by showing you how I made this, because this, whatever, it's the same shit. Different day, right? I uh, crushed up a ramen noodle, used half of it, crushed up a bag of nacho doritos and use half of that i added some of the delicious uh pickled mackerel that we made the other day it's really good it turned out i'm really glad i did that you know because uh, that'll last for a while and it's delicious if you like that kind of thing so yeah this is what i got this is what's going to go in our in our burrito got the pickles in there because i always tell you you got to eat your greens man so, uh, and I'm going to, when you know, uh, throw this mixture here into this bag with a tortilla. Tortillas in the bag. This is an important, important thing. Uh, the, and this is kind of hard to do. You want to have clean hands, you know. Uh, you you want to get it in the tortilla. If you can, as much as you can, goes in the tortilla. some corn I have in the freezer, but I got enough here. I don't, I'm, I'm not even only using half of what I got, so it's all good, Jimmy. It's all good. So yeah, so basically if you look here, it looks like a burrito in a bag, right? There's a straight pickle I'm going to eat. Um, looks like a burrito in a bag. All we got to do Add water from our uh, bug here, and oh, it's ready. It's hot. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you what I'm doing here. And you can see it. See it bubbling away. The important part of this. Uh, Using a device like this is, oh my, I'm all steamy now. Let's get chins all. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. 
the uh, the important part of using a tool like this is uh, before you heat the water, you add in like like okay, pour your put get your vessel of water, be it a bag or a container or whatever. Insert the the stinger before you plug it in. Okay, that's very important. Insert the stinger into the water and then plug it in. It doesn't fucking fizz or buzz or explode or nothing. It just, uh, just let it sit. And, you know, this water is boiling now. Like, it's bubbling, as you can perhaps see. You know, these things work really well um, for what, what we're doing here. So, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, Okay, now also when you're using a, a stinger, when uh, the water's ready, you unplug it before you remove it from the water. You don't want it. This is a, it's, it's kind of a dangerous item, right? So I'm going to show it to you what I got here. It's real cool. It's just a couple of... Uh, I'm trying to get the lighting here. A couple of couple of razor blades, a bit of wood in between them. You know, you can use other things too. Wood's the best, I think. Split wire tied up with string. You know what I mean? Just don't let the wires touch and make sure you plug, put it in the water before you plug it in and unplug it before you take it out of the water. You know what I mean? That's a stinger. So I got some boiling hot water here. I'm just going to uh, put you on pause, add it to the burrito. All right, we're back. So yeah, I got this uh, little burrito or enchilada, whatever you fucking want to call it. The the important thing about cooking it with the throwing the tortilla in the in the bag. Before you add the water, is because uh, it just makes the tortilla. A lot better if your tortilla is a you know maybe a little old, a little stale. Fucking a little bit of water. Now I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is food. This is all. Uh, I've been saving this for this episode because this is a special episode. Thanking my thirty thirtieth subs subscriber uh, and everybody for supporting uh, Dirty Pat Walsh songs on YouTube. Uh, I'm on Instagram as that as well. I'm on Facebook as Patrick Walsh. I run a public uh, music group uh, called Warehouse of Strangers Radio. I'm actually going to apply to be a DJ this year at the university. I don't know university, but I'll put this to the university radio station. I'm going to try to be a DJ and do Warehouse of Strangers Radio on the air. So, Anyhow, at the food bank, I got this fucking amazing score. This is a... A small cottage industry from uh, called Country Cuttings Incorporated from Elmira, Ontario, which is close to here. And it's this is chili sauce, and I'm sure it's fucking amazing. It's like, mmm. It's like the chili sauce my mom used to make, man. Two things I'll always remember is my mother's chili sauce. And my mother's strawberry jam. Just amazing. So I'm going to put some of that on our little uh, burrito here that we cooked. Using nothing but this. And this. So yeah, life skills, people. I hope you can dig it. Let me show you what we got here. This is uh, This is my lunch today. As always, I'm going to... Take a bite. Don't want to run out of time. Get some of that chili sauce up in there. Mmm. Damn fine. All right, people. I got to run. I'm running out of time. Stay free. Be well. Thank you so much for your support. I'm going to be hitting you up all day long because I got fucking fuck all to do today. So, you'll be seeing a lot of me. Okay, be well.